glorify you, I thank you for your goodness, for your kindness, for your grace and for your grace. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. You are born great. You are holy, righteous, and faithful. And we lift you up today. Blessed be your great name, Lord Jesus. We lift up your praise to you today. We lift up worship to you today, O God. We thank you, O God, for your presence and for your power. We thank you for what you've already done in our midst. And we believe in all the great things today. Have your way, O God. Let your kingdom come and your will be done. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord God. Which was and which is and which is to come. When God can do a miracle for you. And I believe God has brought you here this morning. And he has a plan for you today. So open your heart to God. And expect great things from God. And let's worship the Lord together. Hallelujah.
it's good to be in God's presence today. Amen. Yes. And I'm so thankful that He's with us. Yeah. Wherever the presence of the Lord is, the Bible says there is liberty. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's worship the Lord today. Hallelujah! And we've come together today. Ja to worship the King of Kings. 
sanat Jumala. The creator of the whole earth. Oh my God. Oh yeah. And he's worthy to be praised. Tema väärt kiitus. Mitte ainult Jerusalem. But all around the world. Ja üle kogu maailma. And here this morning today. Täna siin. Praise God. We want to give an opportunity for you to give to the Lord. Tähem anda võimalust sulle anda Jumalale. Kui sa oled külaline, you are our guest and this is our gift to you. Ja see teenistus on kihitud seda sulle. We want to give in every way that we can to the Lord. Ja tähem anda iga viisi Jumalale. Anda sa oma ülisus. And we want to give in every way. Iga viisi on. So let's pray and ask the Lord's blessing. Arata, mis on ta õnnistus. And then we're going to sing how great is our God. Ja me laulame edasi, kus on Jumal. Would you pray with me? Arata, kus minu. Father, we thank you for all of your goodness to us. Sa ma täna siin kõige headuse eest teile. And we worship you for your goodness and grace. Ilasin sinu headuse ja arvast. We ask you, O God, that you would bless this offering. Ma parvad sa annud, enistaks siit ohvri. But more than that, I pray that you would bless each heart that's come here today. Aga et sa õnitsaks veel enam igat sõna, mis sa siia tuli. I pray that you would minister to each person. Et sa teenistad igat ühte. Let your blessing rest upon each one. And we give you thanks and praise. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you as you give.
Kambuzika byla bardzo, bardzo pěkná. Buď jas tutaj, buď jas dobré, buď jas námi. Amen. What I said is, is, this is very beautiful music. God is good to us. God is here. And God is with us. I'm not going to talk long, but I'm full of the Spirit of God that's in this place. There's a wonderful Spirit. Forty years ago, today, uh, this month, my wife and I came into a church like this in America. We were raised Catholic. And this was different for us. But we are baptized in Jesus' name. Filled with the Holy Ghost. And we've never been the same. Praise the Lord. I learned this. There's a difference between knowing about God and knowing God. The Apostle Paul was a Pharisee. That means he knew the Pentateuch or the Book of Moses, which today is your first five books of your Bible. He could quote those scriptures. He could write them without mistake. He knew all about the church. But the Bible tells us in the book of Acts when he was on the road to Damascus that he was knocked to the ground and he heard a voice from heaven. Now remember, the Bible says he heard a voice from heaven. In this religious Paul, who knew all the scriptures, looked to heaven and said, Who are you? Now, isn't that strange? How can a man who knows all the scriptures not know the voice of God? It's easy. Because he knew all about God. But on the road to Damascus, he met God. I don't know what your backgrounds are. Maybe you know all about God. But I want to tell you, there's something more important. You can know God personally. That's why you're here. The tabernacle in the Old Testament is where God met his people. In English we call that the meeting place. Here's the tabernacle. This is where we can meet God. So open your heart because Jesus is here and he wants you to know him personally. God bless you. I'm so thankful for every testimony. How many, how many testimonies that you have in your life of what God 
Cu banul de la un text Dunistus, mi-a dat Ioana Simonă Stein. Nu sunt nici al meu aici. Un mit al lui Ioana Dada de Inut. Este un mit al lui Ioana Dada de Inut. Este un mit al lui Ioana Dada de Inut. Este un mit al lui Ioana Dada de Inut. Se va exagera el grado. Se sabe algo más de dónde es. Mis sentidos me gustan. As we worship the Lord together again, this uh, song says, "You deserve the glory." The honor. Yeah. Yes. Let's just worship the Lord with these words of praise. You deserve the honor. Yeah. 
Jeesus tuli maailma valmisena. Seda valgus, mida meidat pimeduses ja pimeduses jälgselt tagasi võinud. Ja ma tänan Jumal, et ta sõna sõna valgusega minu peale. Ja et ta sõna sõna valgusega sinu peale.
Many of you came in with big smiles. Because you've been feasting on the presence of the Lord. But I am convinced that today you will leave with a bigger smile. Amen. Amen. Please look at your neighbor and tell them how it's good to see them. In the house of God. I want to say it is a privilege to be in service with brother and sister Nichols and brother Moses and obviously the Turners are good friends as well and so we give them honor because the Bible said to give honor where honor is due Ja nii me anname au neile, siis piib ütleb vand au, kus on see vaja. What a great testimony, brother Nichols. Mille nimedine teie kunnistus. Amen. And not only does he have a testimony, ja mitte ole ainult tema. God wants to give us all a testimony. Amen. But when I hear his testimony, aga kui ma kuulen tema tunnistus, their testimony, nende tunnistus, I say if the Lord did it for them, kui Jumal tegi seda neile, the God can do it for us. Amen. 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 And there is Helga. I call her Helen. I call her Helena. I call her Olga. But it's Helga. My mother's name's Helen. And I was just in Russia and there's so many Olgas. And so you forgive me, Helga. For those of you that have not heard, I'm I, I just uh, so glad to be in service with Helga. Because of what God did for her last year. And that was just awesome. I mean, the, the conference was over. We were done. But God was not done. Oh, man, amen, amen. Praise God. I want to thank Brother Saunders. For translating for me. I know he enjoys translating. Because I'm quite entertaining. This is uh, American joke. <laughs> Brother Saunders, thank you so much. And I finally got your name right. 
And I want to thank Sister Natasha. I know I'm more flat than she is. But still she agrees to translate for me. Uh, Thank you so much. 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 Thank you so This today that I'm going to minister upon. It is what I wanted to minister last night. The key words, it is what I wanted to minister on last night. But the Lord told me that this was for someone today. So that doesn't mean it's just for one person. It could be for many of you. Certainly it could be for all of us. It's Titus chapter 3 verses 3 through 5. And Brother Saunders, would you read it first? Meiegi olime kord ju arutud sõna kulmatud eksijad, orjates mitesugused himusid ja lõugusid helades purjuses ja kadesuses. Olime vihalused ja vihkasime üksteist. Kui aga Jumalale, Jumala, meie päästi heldus ja inimes, inimese armastus ilmus, siis ta päästis meid, mitte õikuse teguse tõttu, mida meie nagu oleksime teinud, vaid oma halastust mööda, uuesti sünni pesemise ja pühavaim uuendamise kaudu. Ибо и мы были некогда несмысленные, непокорные, заблудшие, были рабы похоти и различных удовольствий, жили в злобе и зависти, были гнусны, ненавидели друг друга. Когда же явилась благодать и человека любила Спасителя нашего Бога, Он спас нас не по делам праведности, которые бы мы сотворили, а по своей милости, баню возрождения и обновления Святым Духом. Today I want to preach to you upon the subject of I, I prayed through. Pentecost did not begin in a palace or in a place of comfort. It actually began with a man that was willing to give his life for others. See algas inimest, kes oli valmis oma elu teiste eest andma. Jesus talked about how if a corn of, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abides alone. Juhul kui seeme ei kukku mulda ja ei suure, siis ta on üsi. He told us in Matthew chapter 16, what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Today I can tell you that everything's always going to be okay in life. I can tell you that everything's going to always go your way. That everything will be perfect. You'll never have another problem again. But this would be a lie. This would not be the truth. It rains on the just and the unjust. As Jesus said, the floods will come. But in the midst of life's troubles and trials, God is there to comfort us. God is there to encourage us. God is there to deliver us. Yes, you may have to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. But even there, the psalmist declared God can be found. And Brother Moses, I'm so happy to report today. We may walk through the valley of the shadow of death. But we do not have to camp there. 
Ja me ei tea seal raad peatu. Because the Lord will lead us by his shepherding hands. Sest isal, isal, isal juhil meid. You're going to have bad days. Sa polema harvu päevi. You're going to have bad moments. Harvu hetki. You're going to have times in your Christian journey where you may disappoint yourself. Periode, kus sa oled polnud ise ennesest pehtud. But do not give up. Aga ära anna. Do not despair. Ära hida meid. Dust yourself off. Pühi tolm enda peata. Get up again. Pühi peab. And keep walking with God. For God is a merciful God. God is a loving God. And God is a God that will help you again and again. Amen. Amen. We celebrate Pentecost. Often we call ourselves Pentecostal. We are one God Pentecostals. Jesus is our God and God alone to us. But we, we need to understand there can be no Pentecost without a Calvary. Call ourselves commonly Pentecost because the New Testament church began on the day of Pentecost. And this was a term of the Jewish people. It was called the Feast of Pentecost. Because it is the Feast of the First Fruits. Now the reason it came to be known as the Feast of Pentecost is because Pente means 50. And it means that the Feast of the First Fruits was 50 days after the Passover began. Ja see esimest viljas pühva oli viiskend päeva peale pasunud. Seda on oluline teada. That Passover is not completed until Pentecost feast has happened. Pasa pühva ei ole tegelikult läbi, kui see neli pühva täistamine ei ole asked. If you're here today and you've not yet received the Holy Spirit baptism, you need to complete your Passover. You need to complete your Calvary experience. Somebody say Amen. Titus chapter 3 verse 3 through 4 speaks of a change. Let us read verse 3 and 4. Tiituse kolmas peadukka sammi kolm ja neli. Meiegi olime kord ju arutud sõna kuulmatu teistsead hurjates mitmesuguseid himusid ja lõbusid elades kurjuses ja kadeduses olime vihalused ja vihkusame üks teist. Kui aga Jumal, meie päästja hellus ja inimese armastus ilmus. Iba ja me bõli niekada nesmõsleni, ipakorne zabulši, bõli rabi kopiti i različni hudavolstvi, želi v zlodi i zavisti, bõli gnusni, nenavideli drug druga, kad daži je vilas blagodati človeka ljubija, spasitele našega, Boga, On spas nas ne po delam pravilnosti, katere bi mi sotvarili, a po svojej milosti, Paul is writing one of the sons in the gospel, Titus. And he's reminding the churches of that area about the great change that has taken place. He even includes himself in it. We also are, we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, etc. We got caught up in divers' lust. We got distracted. 
We got bound by the gods of this world. We became full of envy or hate, etc. But then he says in verse 4 that the love of God appeared. That the love of God, our Savior, appeared toward men. And then notice what he says in Titus 3 and 5. Siis ta päästis meid, mitte õiguse tegude tõttu, mida meie nagu oleksime teinud, vaid oma halastust mööda, uuesti sünni pesemise ja pühavaimu uuendamise kaudu. On spas nas ne po delam pravidlosti, ktorei bi my sotvarili obo svojej milosti, vanje vzrazdenje i obnovlenje svetim duhom. Notice he uses the word renewing of the Holy Ghost. What does it mean to renew? It means to resume. It means to reestablish. It means to repeat. It means to give fresh life or strength. It means to extend the validity of something. You may get a driver's license, but every few years you have to go in and you have to renew it. You may fill your car up with gas, but every now and then you have to renew that and put more gas in it. I want to remind you today, this Christian journey is not a one-time decision. Yes, it is a moment. But it's a moment that must cause a momentum. It must be a decision that leads to daily decisions. Maybe you came today and you say, I'm weak. I have good news. He is strong. Maybe you come today and you say, I, I don't feel so, I feel lifeless in the spirit. I have good news. Calvary is still real. Jesus is still alive. And the same God that baptized you with the Holy Spirit can do it again. Amen. Jude, in his epistle, addresses those who mock the work of God. Jude verses 19 and 20. Yes, yes, I'll be first. Yes, yes, Teiega armsad, olles ajanud endid oma kõige pühamaale usule ja palvetades pühas aimus. Eda ljudi, atdeljaisi seda, duševni, ne imeši duha, a vi, vazljubljeni, nazidaje seda na svetejšoj veri vašoj, malest duhom svetim. So, Jude talks about those who separate themselves unto destruction. They're worldly or sensual, they're not having the spirit. But, but then he encourages us, beloved, build up yourself, praying in the Holy Ghost. Somebody may say, I've had a bad day. They may even say I've had a bad week. They may say I've had a bad month. Brother Norman, I gotta confess, I've had a pretty bad 
here uh, in Boston. What should I do? Build up your faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. What should I do? When my family is being mean to me. When my friends are disowning or do not want anything to do with me. When my work is not going good. When I'm sick, what should I do? Build up your most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Ghost. There's something about touching the throne of God. When I begin to pray and talk to God, and I let the Spirit of God pray through me, the book of Romans teaches that the Spirit will pray for things that we do not Brother Nichols, I always feel encouraged. Brother Nichols, I always feel encouraged. I come out of my prayer room with faith. I come out of my prayer room looking at the possibilities of God. Amen. Amen. I know we're in Estonia. This is Estonia. We're not in Jamaica. But I have a lot of Jamaican friends. And they have an old, old song. Relax, I'm not going to sing. Maybe some other day. You know, one time I did get told I could make a living singing. I'm serious. They told me I could make a living singing. And people would pay me to be quiet. I knew you would like that song. There's an old Jamaican song. And it says, God blocked it. I was praying. And I didn't know it. But I was going to be diagnosed with cancer. I was going to lose my job. This was going to happen. But I got to pray. And I never knew it was going to happen. Because God, He blocked it. He stopped it. For every prayer you think you have seen answered. There are a hundred times more things God has done for you. He protected you from them. He prevented them from happening to you. God, He blocked it. Oh, I love it when God blocks the bad things. Don't you love it? Amen. There was one man in North Carolina. He's really a praiser. He loved to worship God. And I heard his pastor tell the story of what happened to him. He was known throughout his town as Hallelujah Billy. As he'd be walking down the street and somebody would say, Hello, Billy. He'd say, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. He'd just always Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He loved God. So somebody stopped him one day. They were not a believer. They said, Billy, I've known you all my life. You always say, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. What are you going to do if when you die, there that you don't make it to heaven? He said, Listen, young man, I know. I'm going to go to heaven. I've been baptized in the name of Jesus. I've got the Holy Ghost. I'm living under God. But if somehow I would not make it to heaven, if somehow I would enter into hell, 
You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to shout hallelujah and praise the Lord so many times that the devil himself will kick me out of hell and send me up to heaven. Because there's nobody like Jesus. There's nobody like Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, Sister Helga, I like you. In fact, I even love you in the love of the Lord. I heard you're like me. You have a lot of personality. Brother Turner told me you have good personality. Amen. Yeah, he did. Amen. Plus, I can tell. But I remember when the conference doors closed. And I passed Helga in the hall. Something was about her. I wondered if is she here for the conference? It was obvious she needed had great need. You understand that? Maybe you already said it. Never mind. It's okay. And, and then I waited for brother and sister Turner. I waited. And I waited. And I came back. And there was Helga. She had received forgiveness. She had received the gift of the Holy Ghost baptism. We, you, we went and baptized her in the name of Jesus. You see, the doors were locked. But God was still doing business. I saw her last night. Something was familiar about her. But I did not even know it was her. She's a totally different woman. The joy of the Lord. Amen. 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 What I'm saying is this. There will be bad days. Everything will not go your way. I want to be honest with you. But you can still pray through to the power of God. Refresh your spirit. Renew the Holy Spirit in your heart. Sometimes you're going to call missionary Turner. And you maybe will not be able to reach him. Or maybe you talk to him, but your burden is still so heavy. But we can go to the throne of God. We can go to the throne of God. I, I'm not, uh, I am uh, I am younger than some here. And I'm older than others. And I was not raised in the church. But years ago in Pentecost in America, they would say, they used a term very commonly. And, and the term was, I prayed through. And I'll be honest, I did not think it was the best terminology. Maybe different generation. But the more and more I studied it, I understood what they were trying to say. See, there was a standard answer that pastors would give people. When you can't get a job, what do I do, pastor? Pray through. When your family's falling apart and you don't know what to do, Pastor, what should I do? Pray through. When your spouse leaves you, your heart is breaking in half. What do you do? What do I do, Pastor? Pray through. When nothing is going your way, what do we do? Pastor, what 
can I do? It's time to pray through. If you get anything out of this conference, I want you to get this very thing today. You do not have to wait for the next conference. You do not have to wait for the next Sunday. You do not have to wait even for the next conversation with Pastor Turner. But you can kneel in your bedside. You can kneel in your closet. You can lift your hands as you sit on your couch. And you can touch the throne of God. And pray through to the power of God. If you've lost your joy, pray until you get your joy again. If you've lost your love of God, pray till you get your love of God. If you keep falling down and you keep making a mistake, pray until you get to victory. Because you may walk into your prayer room like this, but if you touch the throne of God, you'll come out like this with the joy and the victory of the Lord. Is your name Olga? What was your name? Anna. Anna, you called me earlier. I forgot. Anna, I told Anna if my mother was here, she would like her. Anna, I would be. Anna, I would be afraid to introduce my mother to you. Because I think she would talk to you for three days straight. Amen. Similar personality. But maybe Anna, I could get away from her after maybe a few hours. Anna, I could get away from her after maybe a few hours. But you know Anna. Anna, you know Anna. I've got to admit something to you. The same joy you got in November is not here. The same peace you got in November is not here. The same peace you got in November is not here. There's more joy. There's more peace. There's more joy. There's more joy. There's more peace. There's more victory. There's more love. We're gonna go higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. We're going to pray through until there's so much joy. We feel like we're and that is for every one of you. You're feeling better, aren't you? But it's going to get even better. Now, I told you the story the other day. But I feel like I want to tell it again. So forgive me. I told you about Sam and Joe. Now, a couple of you were not here, you did not hear it. Some of you heard it, but you get to hear it again. Maybe you will remember it better. <laughs> Sam and Joe were Canadian wolf trappers. Sam and Joe were Canadian wolf trappers. They would trap the wolves. They would sell the meat and sell the hides. They had many, many traps out. But there was a problem. The wolf population in Canada grew exponentially, greatly. And so the Canadian government put a bounty on the on the on the head of every wolf. The wolves were killing the livestock. So now Sam and Joe can not only sell the meat and get the hide and sell the hide, but get a bounty from the government. This is Sam and Joe. He's on meat and on the hide. No, my life is quite because they're like bigger top at the twenty days. So they went out to put out more traps. Their brothers, they're staying in the tent. And at night, Joe wakes up. He hears a noise. He 
He unzips the tent. He looks out past the campfire. And he hears this. Let's do it one more time. Come on, Sanders. One more time. She refuses. <laughs> They're uncooperative. <laughs> and Joe sees all these eyes of wolves. <laughs> and he thought, we're going to die. <laughs> we're surrounded by maybe as many as a hundred wolves. <laughs> so he backs into the tent. <laughs> he zips the little tent. Don't close. <laughs> he said, Sam. 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 Sam! Sam! Joe, why, why, why are you waking Joe? Joe, why are you waking Joe? Sam, you have to see this. Sam, you have to see this. So they went towards the tent door. Joe, I'll zip the tent door. Sam, you have to see this. Sam, we're surrounded by wolves. Sam, you have to see this. We're surrounded by wolves. Sam, we're surrounded by wolves. We're dead men. Sam goes, no, Joe. We're rich. 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 We're rich.
And if we don't forgive our, our brother of his trespasses, God cannot forgive us of all this. If you are here today, and you have a grudge, a hard feeling towards somebody, you know you need to let go of that. Would you lift your hand right now? Thank you for your honesty. If you're here today, you have never received the Holy Spirit baptism with the Bible sign of speaking in other tongues. You have never received the Holy Ghost with the Bible sign of speaking in other tongues by accident. Would you lift your hand right now? Thank you for your honesty. Today is your day. If you're here and you know you need a fresh renewing of the Spirit of God, would you lift your hand? Amen. Amen. If you're here, you know you need healing or victory over something. Lift your hand. Here's what we're going to do. As a sign of your faith. And what God has promised you. Promise to forgive. Feel with the Holy Ghost. To heal and to deliver. I want you to do something. I want you to come and stand at the front as a sign of it. Just come and stand up like we here in the front. Line up a line from there to here. Come. As a sign of your faith. Don't wait for them. We'll all come eventually. Let's line, line up all the way there. We'll make sure there's plenty of room. Brother Turner will help me. Come, come, please, everyone, come. Let's all gather around. Yeah. We have plenty of time. So good to see you today. Come later, come. Amen. Amen. Here's what I want us to do. How, how many of us are guilty of trying to take care of things on our own? If you would close your eyes with me and put your hands in front of your chest level like you're holding a box. Now I know you are not holding a box. But act like you are holding a box. Close your eyes. And in that box, I want you to throw your sins and transgressions and iniquities. In that box, I want you to throw the problems you have tried to take care of. In that box, I want you to throw your scars and your hurts. In that box, I want you to throw situations you don't know what to do with. And keep holding that box right now. The Bible said, for with God nothing shall be impossible unto you. That's Luke 1 and 37. And right now I want us all as we hold the box let us ask Jesus to forgive us for trying to take care of these things on our own let's open our mouth and ask Jesus to forgive us Lord Jesus forgive us 
Forgive me of trying to take care of it on my own. Lord, I need your help. Lord, I need your help. Father, forgive me. Forgive me of everything I have said or done or thought against you, God. Wash my heart and my mind and my soul. Wash my soul and my situation. I said, ask God to forgive you for trying to take care of it on your own. In the name of Jesus. Now, with your eyes closed, you have asked Jesus to forgive you. And if you trust God to take care of everything you put in that box, I want you to stretch your hands forward and hand the box to Jesus and let go of the box and lift up your hands and begin to worship God. Those things are the Lord's. Let's praise the Lord.
But we pray. Father, you're our strength and our encouragement. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the authority of that word of God. Thank you for your wisdom, Father. Amen. Continue to bless. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wonderful. Hallelujah. I want us to gather around. Come help me, Esther. Esther, you know how to translate. You taught something. I want us to gather around. And let's join hands. And then pray over. If you're able. If you're able. If you're able. And look to the one to the left of you. Look to the one to the right of you. Tell them, I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And so let us begin to pray. Let us begin to pray. Father, the name of Jesus. Umadaba, Unde Bene Buddha Basu. Even the Madaba, Unde Buddha Buddha Mukada Basu. Sila Basu, Unde Buddha 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 Buddha
precious missionaries home. Missionary, missionary for many years. You know when I was, uh, well, even when I spoke with you, I'd call my father. I'd say, Father, I'm praying for you. You know what he was telling me. He said, good. I need the prayer, and you need the practice. We all need the practice. We all need the practice. I just keep feeling that the Lord would give a, a special healing touch to our sister. So, so we ask her kindly. Amen. Amen. We ask her to lift her hands and worship. That does not And then let's join hands. And we're going to pray God heal her. Let it heal it happen. 